Today I did a horse show makeup look. This is for like quarter horse or paint or pinto or open shows or 4-H. Well, maybe not 4-H, but you know, like horsemanship, um, showmanship, English ec, um, hunter saddle pleasure, trail, whatever. Any of that. Um, I used kind of like a really sculpted cheek because I, as I say in the video, when you're on the rail, it gives you some definition. It's like dancers when they're under those really bright lights. You can't tell that they have 50 pounds of makeup on, but they do. So um, it's a little bit like that for horse shows. So you don't have to do this dramatic if you don't want. I personally like it like this. I did kind of like a neutral eye that you could pair with any lip. Did a nude lip because I wanted to. <laughs> but go ahead, pair it with a red or a burgundy or purple if you want. Um, <laughs> hey, you do you. But like I said, I did the nude. I really truly do believe and investing some time and a little bit of money into makeup for horse show. It can be all drugstore or it could be all high end or it could be you could go get your makeup done by an artist or whatever it may be but I think it's that finishing touch that makes you stand out, looks presentable, looks professional, looks confident. I do think that you should try to make time to do so. Um, even if it's just a little bit of mascara and eyeliner and bronzer or blush or some lipstick, you know, like a little bit of something to tie your whole entire look together. As I was going through this video, I realized that one, it's a lot of high-end products, so it adds up. And I don't expect anyone to go out and buy all of these. So use whatever you have. If you want to invest in a few products, go for it. On that note, I think I might make another video that's drugstore, so it's cheaper, it's more accessible. Um, I know that there's a lot of horse people on a budget, or at least... I think there is. So um, I think that'd be a great idea. I might do that. Then another thing I noticed was that this isn't exactly like a quick makeup routine. So I think I might do like a quick 10 minute makeup thing where if you're at a show and you show up late and your class is in an hour and your horse isn't ready that you can kind of just throw this on, go look presentable, especially in showmanship. I really think you should do your makeup because you're up close, personal with the judges you should look presentable. This is what I came up with, so if you would like to watch, please keep watching. So first things first, I go in with a primer today. I'm using the Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield. So next I'm going in with foundation and I got this little sample of the new Too Faced Born This Way foundation and I just purchased it because love this stuff. So I'm going to be using this in the color Light Beige. So I just dot that all over my face. And then I blend that in with my IT Cosmetics buffing brush. And first I like to do my foundation no matter what foundation it is. Going downward so that I don't um, What's the word, like, disrupt the baby hairs on my face? And then I go in and actually buff it in a little. So next I go ahead and go in and do my under eye highlight using the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer, which looks like this, and kind of a triangle shape right here to um, accentuate the brightness and lift your face a little. And then I go down the bridge of my nose just a little, forehead, Cupid's bow, and then my chin. And basically I like my under eye highlight, but then to even out the rest of my face so it's not all like just bright under my eyes, I go in and even it out. And then I go in by my nose because I get some redness there occasionally. Then I go in with a sponge. This is the Real Technique sponge. And I blend that out. So 
So next I go in and set my under eye concealer using the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. And then I use that with my e.l.f. Blush Brush. Blush Brush. That is hard to say. And I just go under the eyes with this one. And by setting under eye concealer, it's going to make your makeup last a lot longer without creasing. To set the rest of my highlighted areas, I'm going in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette using a mix of this banana shade and this first shade right here. These two. And I use that same brush. And I just lightly get some and tap it off and then go over those areas. And this, again, is just going to brighten your face a little bit more and this is totally optional of course you don't even have to do the under eye highlight if you don't want I just really think it makes your face pop and looks really nice next to set my entire face I've been using the hello flawless by benefit powder in honey um, I really personally like this powder my face has been really dry lately because I'm using acne medication so um, this is very hydrating and it gives you a nice kind of airbrush look and then I just tap this all over my face. I try not to rub because you don't want to rub off your foundation that you just put on. But I do buff it in a little bit, like down my neck especially. And to set my face, I used the um, Expert, what is this? Expert Buffer Powder Brush by Icing by Claire's. And I am telling you, these brushes are amazing. They're pretty affordable. They're like $10 each or something, but they are so soft. And especially this one I like because it's perfect, like the perfect fluffiness and density to set my whole face. And it's not too small. It's not too big. I love it. And I also actually have two of these because one of them I like to use to bronze my face because, again, it's big so it can do that. But I obviously didn't want bronzer on my powder brush. So, bingo on icing brushes. I bought like 20 of them. I love them. So, the next thing I do are my eyebrows. And I am extremely high maintenance about my eyebrows. So, you guys totally do not have to do this many steps. I should probably throw it out there that if you have good thick eyebrows, or even if you don't have eyebrows, this is totally not necessary. Of course, this whole video is just what I do. Um, I feel like my brows are really sparse so I like to basically paint them on but you can go on with an eyeshadow or whatever it is and I might actually make another video that's like quick horse show makeup tutorial because I totally know the pressure of getting ready in like 20 minutes so um but this is if I have the time this is definitely what I will do so next step is I go in and do my eyes so to start off with my eyes, I go in with the primer, and I use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, and I highly, highly, HIGHLY recommend investing in one of these. They're, this one's expensive, it's like $20, but any eyeshadow primer will do, um, or like a cream base of any sort. Ulta typically, well as of now, I think Urban Decay is redoing the packaging of these, so they have them on sale quite frequently, so if you can, go pick one up. But if not, I totally understand horse show people are sometimes on a budget. But I go in with the smallest amount. You hardly need any of this stuff. And I just place that all over my eyelid. And I'm literally, this is all I'm using. I don't know if you can see that. That's all you need because if you use too much, it will crease. Next thing that I do is I go ahead and set that um, primer with a powder and what I've been using is the Wet n Wild eyeshadow in brulee and this was 99 cents and oh my gosh most amazing eyeshadow I think I've ever bought like high end and drugstore well maybe that's excessive but for 99 cents this thing is amazing it's super pigmented it lasts all day and it's I just love it it's so good so I just dust that all over my eyelid so for the eyes today, I'm going to go ahead and do something that's pretty universal. Um, and I totally just noticed that I really don't have a lot of drugstore eyeshadows. And this look is going to be mostly out of the Naked palette, Naked 1 by Urban Decay. But I, like I said, I might do a quick tutorial for horse shows or I might do drugstore. But for now, I'm going to use the Charlotte palette and I'm just picking up the shade 
right here, which I believe is natural beauty. Yes. And I'm taking this on a Morphe M504, and I'm just placing this in the crease, and this is going to be our transition shade. And I just very roughly blend that out. It can be super smoky because personally, I love me some smoky. Uh. I love this brush, and I love this Tarlet palette. I am such a fan. I'm sorry I'm talking so much, guys, but I am such a big fan of um, the Tarlet palette in matte colors, and it's perfect for me, and you can make so many different looks with it, but like I said, you totally do not need to go out and buy it because these are both really expensive palettes, but I am addicted. <laughs> And with this color, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of wing it out a little bit. And by that, I mean just flicking it out towards my eyebrow, the tail of my eyebrow a little bit. And then, now it's going over to the Naked One palette. I'm going to take Buck, which is kind of um, a warm transition shade color. And I take that on the same brush and just place it exactly where we put the other one. This is going to define it just a little bit more and also add a little bit of warmth and depth. So next, going back over to the Tartlet palette because the Naked one doesn't have a dark brown, I'm going to take Dreamer, which is right here. And it's a really warm dark brown. And I'm taking this on a Morphe E22 brush. It's just a tapered, fluffy blending brush. And I'm going to place this in the crease. The outer crease first. And then I'm going to slightly blend it in. But focus it out on this outer portion. Especially with my eyes, I like to keep things focused on the outer corner to kind of open them up because if you drag co dark colors into the inner corner it's going to close off your eye and then I'm just going to go in back with that first brush and blend it out a little bit so next thing I'm going to do is take and take this dark brown right here which is called multitasker and I'm taking this on a slightly fluffy brush to pack it on. This is by Icing. It came in a pack of three. It's called the Crease Wide Shadow. And then I'm going to pack this on the outer, I'm going to say third. And then once again, go in and blend with the first brush. And try not to blend this inward too much, try to keep it kind of focused so that we can keep that inner part lighter. Okay, so next I'm going to jump back over to the Naked palette and I'm going to take a flat brush and spray it with a little bit of Fix Plus by MAC or like water or whatever you have. And I'm going to take the color Sin, which is this color right here. So I'm going to pack this right on the center of my eye and try not to drag it up into the crease too much. And then I'm gonna go in with a different brush and take Virgin, which is right here. And it is kind of um, just a shimmery satin color and put this on the inner portion. Trying to stay in frame for you guys because I'm used to just being able to go wherever I want. So next, again I'm using another um, eyeshadow by Urban Decay. I love their eyeshadows. But this is Midnight Cowboy Rides Again. Super, super shimmery, pretty color. And what I found with this eyeshadow is that you definitely need to spray your brush with something. Because when it gets better color payoff. And two, you'll get a lot less fallout. So again, taking that same brush, I sprayed it again with some Fix Plus, water, whatever you have, and packing this on the center of my lid and dragging it inward just a little bit. This is going to give some sparkle, which everyone knows I love, especially at horse shows. And then going back in with Brulee by Wet n Wild. 
I'm taking the same brush I had before. I got this out of a CoverGirl palette forever ago. But I'm packing that on the inner corner because I actually want to neutralize that a little bit more. So now going back in with that E22 brush, of course tapered fluffy, taking a little bit more of Dreamer in the Tartlet palette, I'm just going to go in my crease and define that. Kind of blossom some of the intensity with the shimmer. I'm not going to call it glitter, but the shimmer. Now going down to my lower lash line, I'm going to take this brush from Icing again from that 3 brush pack, which I think for all three of them it might have been $12, but I'm going to take this end, it is um, kind of a fluffy pencil brush, and take Dreamer out of the Tartlet palette, and I'm going to run this along the outer kind of third of my lower lash line. And then I'm going to go in and use the same um, combination of Sin and Midnight Cowboy Reds again. Spray, same brush with some Fix Plus, water, whatever you have, and focus this right in the middle of my lower lash line. Just to kind of mimic what we did up top. So that was Sin, and now I'm going in with Midnight Cowboy Reds again. How fitting for a horse show makeup that I'm using a cowboy shadow. Hey. So next, I'm going to go in to the Urban Decay Naked Basics 2 palette and take the first color, which is Skimp, right here. It's, um, it's a very shimmery, um, I want to say satin color, champagne satin color, but I'm going to place that right on my brow bone. And next thing I'm going to do is my eyeliner. Okay, so there's my eyeliner done. Um, next thing I do is go in with a black eyeliner. Next thing I do is go in on my lower lash, or waterline, with the nude color. This is the Chella Ivory Lace Highlighter, which I'm pretty sure it's not even for your eyes, but that's okay. And I do my waterline. And this is going to open your eyes and make you look a lot more awake. So now for lashes, of course optional, but I like them, especially at horse shows. Um, I'm going in with the Ardell Glamour Wispies in black. Well, I don't think they make them in anything else. Okay, so going back to the face now while my lashes dry. So the first thing I'm going to do is bronze. So I go in with the Icing Expert Buffer Powder, which this is the second one I have that I only use for bronzer. And then the, one la wa the Wet and Wild color com bronzer and bear in mind and I honest to god think that this is a dupe for Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil but I just packed it on And now for contour, I go in with the NYX blush in taupe, and then um, this kabuki brush that came with my Hoola Benefit bronzer. And I do a kind of a heavy contour because if you're out on the rail, um, you kind of lose the definition in your face. So I mean, I up up close, I probably look crazy, but gotta have those cheekbones. And then I go in with the fluffy brush. This is another icings one. It's the double-ended contour one. And I take the fluffy end and blend those two together. So again, something super high maintenance of me. I'm using a different bronzer and I'm going to contour my nose a little bit because I like to. So I'm going in with the NARS um, bronzer in Laguna.
And then for highlight, I use the Mary Luminizer, which is awesome sauce. And I take the same brush I use to highlight, or brighten, I guess. I take this on the tops of my cheeks. And a little bit on my forehead, if I'm feeling fancy. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's gorge. So now I go ahead and I spritz my face with the Mario Badus Badescu um, Rose Spray from Ulta. I kind of use this in place of a setting spray, but I absolutely recommend picking up a setting spray. And I drench myself. I like to smell like roses. For lips, I go in with the NYX Lip Liner in Natural. Just like this, and of course you can totally change the lip color to suit whatever you're wearing or your skin tone. Sometimes I like to do bright reds, sometimes I like to do dark reds. Today I'm going to do a nude. And now I'm going to go in with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, which for horse shows I only use liquid lipstick because it's all that stays on. And this one, you do have to reapply a few times. But I also use the Anastasia ones, just like I said, depending on the color. 